In the words of Dolly Parton, it takes a lot of money to look this cheap. Once you've added up all the facials, the tweezing, the waxing, the hair appointments, it can easily set you into the thousands. Beauty is an investment, but no one wants to go broke chasing the ultimate beauty glow up. You've worked hard for your money and you don't want to blow it all on rubbish treatments that just don't deliver. That's where I come in. I'm a cosmetic doctor and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on what beauty treatments are actually worth your time and your money. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Number one, dental work or teeth straightening and whitening treatments. There are few things that can transform the face as much as a perfect smile. Although perfect is subjective and depends on other issues like your facial structure, dental hygiene, and overall level of health. But having clean and healthy teeth is a sign of good health and will increase your points in the beauty stakes. Have you ever seen someone who looked really attractive and then they open their mouth and it's a horror show. There's dental decay, missing teeth, a thick layer of plaque, and don't get me started on how much of a turn off bad breath can be. No doubt about it, dental work is costly. Crowns, veneers, and Invisalign can easily set you into the thousands. In my opinion, it's well worth it and will transform not only your face, for your confidence when interacting with other people. So this is a reminder for you to go ahead and schedule your next dental visit, especially if it's been more than a year since you last saw one. Just thank me later. Number two, chemical peels. Chemical peels can be a cheap solution, especially if you're using drugstore formulations. But if you have deeper skin issues like severe acne, melasma and pigmentation, then I'd recommend that you cough up some more dough to get a professionally administered peel. Why? It's not to say you can't do it yourself, but it will take you longer to get the results you want and you run the risk of getting chemical burns and scarring if you start messing around with high strength peels without adequate precautions. I mean, these are acids at the end of the day. By going to a professional, you'll get someone that's been trained to assess your skin, choose the right peel, and administer it safely in order to supercharge your results. And you may then be able to maintain your results with the home peels. It may be more expensive than the DIY option, but it's worth it in the long run. Number three. Cool sculpting. In recent years, cool sculpting has been a viable contender for those who want to spot reduce and target stubborn pockets of fat that they just can't shift with diet or exercise. For those of you who don't know about cool sculpting, cool sculpting by Zeltique is a non surgical treatment that involves freezing the fat cells to sub-zero temperatures so that they die and are naturally eliminated by the body's lymphatic system. The treatment is in cycles that can last up to an hour and can be done in the clinic without additional requirements. There are other similar techniques that use heat and ultrasound waves, but so far only cool sculpting has FDA approval for this kind of use. The main thing to bear in mind is that this is not a weight loss treatment. It works best when it's used to treat specific areas of fat deposits like chin fat or love handles rather than as a full body reshaping tool. But cool sculpting does work and can reduce fat by up to 20%, which in practical terms may mean shaving between one to two inches off your waistline. Depending on what type of result you're after, you may need to go back for repeat sessions. So factor that in when you're working out the sum. Number four, electrolysis. If you've been on my channel long enough, you will know that I'm a fan of electrolysis and I will rave about it to anyone who hangs around me long enough to listen. I'm gonna come clean with you. I have struggled with troublesome facial hair, which has been completely eradicated with electrolysis. It was an investment of my time and money as I had to keep going back regularly for upwards of a year, but I would do it all over again, no questions asked. And all that time and money that I paid has been worth it as I no longer have to buy expensive razors, hair removal creams, or deal with pesky ingrown hairs. If you want to know why I'm recommending electrolysis over other forms of hair removal for facial hair, 
it's because excessive facial hair in women is more likely to be due to hormonal issues and an improper use of laser in these areas may stimulate more hair growth in what's called paradoxical hypertrichosis, which is something you do not want. Number five, Botox. Yeah, 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 we all wanna age naturally, but no one wants to look old before their time. While I do have some issues with dermal fillers, especially when they're overused or not used correctly, I'm all in favor of Botox. Botox is actually the brand name of the botulinum toxin, which when injected, weakens the muscles that cause lines and wrinkles. Did you know that Botox is also widely used to treat medical problems? Yup, it's not just for us vain and cosmetic folks. It's also used to help reduce migraines, control excessive sweating, and even for people with bladder problems. You don't have to overdo it, but small, focused, and carefully considered Botox treatments can be a worthwhile beauty investment if you're into that sort of thing. Let me know what you guys think and if you've tried any of these treatments or if you have any other beauty treatments that have worked for you. If you've liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for other beauty related content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.